guys, so I'm out here in this beautiful small town of Chiquil, about 30 minutes from Malacatos. This property is amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, there's a hotel on the property with a swimming pool, a large basketball or volleyball court, um, and the property has a amazing, massive, giant waterfall down at the bottom. It is a very special place out here. Um, I'm going to be going around, walking around, showing you guys what's available here in Chiquil. This property is for sale, of course. Um, this, yeah, full of fruit trees, full of yummy foods growing, uh, landscaped beautifully with flowers. Uh, you got hummingbirds out here. We have uh, incredible views, as you can see in the background just a really special place. So um, yeah, let's go check it out. Look at this epic, epic waterfall. This stunning beauty out here to kill. Once again, look at this beautiful waterfall falling into another waterfall. I think I'm gonna jump in, honestly. That's it, I'm jumping in. So we just came here and these, these big, beautiful dogs were just barking at us. Like, felt like they wanted to, you know, just basically kill us and then I come closer and really they're just they just want some love look at this beautiful beautiful Rottweiler oh yeah oh yeah baby. oh yeah yeah he's just such a sweet sweet doggies yeah <laughs> got these cute little bunnies cute little bunny rabbits oh look at them such cute little animals yeah Cuties. Mm. Once again, I'm out here in the beautiful town of Chiquil, or San Miguel, they also call it. And yeah, we have some amazing properties down here. Extremely productive properties. And I just wanted to show you guys the amount of agriculture that's being done here. And uh, this man actually, we're selling this property right here that you can see. Uh, he's kept everything organic. He doesn't use any pesticides, but the land is so fertile here. It's really amazing. So he's growing like three crops in one area. He's growing <clears throat> the yuca. This is a yuca plant or it's also called cassava. It has these beautiful, uh, delicious roots. Then right next to it is a white carrot, which is a type of parsnip. And then right against it, he's got bananas. So he's growing the three crops in one area. And I just want to show you guys, like you can actually see right here, this is a fence. And then, and then the road is right here. And, and between the fence and the road, you can see what the soil looks like in the area. Basically, the soil is, is just this really fluffy material, no rocks at all. Uh, basically, quote-unquote top soil. So it does really well. Uh, any crop actually grows really, really well in this area. And um, yeah, there's barely any rocks. And so all of the soil here is, is that kind of really fertile ground um we're gonna go look around we're gonna go see what else he grows out here but uh yeah really special place and then right across the road as you can see this is the road they're widening the road here for public transport so the bus was i will actually uh, be driving here shortly and then uh, right across the road it opens up to magnificent views of this beautiful of the beautiful mountains out here in chiquil it's a really good spot for agriculture to live self-sustainably um, and there's also a bunch of waterfalls uh, in the area so this property here is also for sale <clears throat> right down here all of this it's seven hectares in total and back back there there's a, a stream or a quebrada which has multiple waterfalls that goes all the way up to the hotel that we're also listing Las Cascadas de Chiquil, beautiful hotel. So it's a really cool area. They are um, right now. I know of three different um, three different uh, owners that are expats. 
I think they're all Americans, if I'm not mistaken. But um, I think this area is going to be developing. They're going to be more and more expats, gringos moving out here for the peace, the quiet, uh, the fer fertility of the ground, the waterfalls. It's, um, yeah, when we were about 20, 25 minutes from Malacatos. So, you know, 40, 45 minutes from Vilcabamba, about an hour from Loja. Not too bad. And, uh, yeah, the peace out here, it's a little warmer. This area is definitely warmer than Vilcabamba. Uh, not by far, but um, you can tell it's it's a little warmer. And I think it's a better growing climate for growing fruits and vegetables, um, especially tropical fruits. The properties we're looking at, well, right here you can see there's beautiful banana trees, mangoes, avocados, just a variety of delicious fruits that grow really well in this climate. What a beautiful place, guys. This is amazing. This is the border of one of the properties that we're selling out here in, in Chiquil. This is the, the property is basically right here, up here. Uh, but yeah, it just goes on and on with these beautiful pools and waterfalls. And, I mean, this thing is no joke. This is like, uh, this is a, your own, your own personal, Jacuzzi, <laughs> cold tub, you could call it. Really cool, man. Look at look at the look at the rock formations back here. Another pool down here. This is like a secret place that nobody knows about. Uh, I'm pretty sure nobody ever comes here. I mean, and it just goes, it just keeps going like these pools, just way, way, way down. More waterfalls, more pools. So it's really cool. Beautiful properties out here in Chiquil. What do you guys think this is? What do you think this is? Some kind of wood. I was eaten by termites. <laughs> this is pretty cool guys. This is a tilapia pond. Natural uh, pond here with water coming from the waterfalls in Chiquil. Uh, feeding this pond, but yeah, look at all the beautiful little fishies. I don't know if you can see them. It looks like there are a lot of fish in there. Tilapia. Definitely a good way to have a, a good source of food all year round. And yeah, beautiful. This property is full of food growing. Bananas, yuca, cassava, white carrot, um, lots of sweet potatoes as well. You got a beautiful orange tree right here. Really nice, really nice property out here. Once again, a tilapia pond with beautiful fishes in there. It's a different one. There are two ponds on this property. If you love bananas, this is the place for you. Look at the amount of banana trees out here on this one property. Everything you can see, it's all planted with bananas all the way around to this side up here. All of these delicious bananas. Whew. Right here, I'm in a yucca field. This is the yucca. <clears throat> There's a whole yucca plantation up here. Lots of food, lots of food, lots of calories if you are 
into survival and being uh, self-sustainable. Definitely plenty of food growing here. You will never uh, starve.